Hey everyone, I hope you're doing great. Now, I haven't put a video on for a while. I've had the dreaded sea lurgy and I've been a bit busy doing other things, but I've still got a bit of stocking in there and I know where some deer are to go and find. Now, this morning, I've got a game plan to go out and look for some deer in a valley that I've seen a few times, but I haven't had a morning stock chance to get at them with good weather. But this morning looks really good. And then this afternoon, I'm going to head up onto a hill where I know there's a group of deer and there's a few others kicking about that I hope to take care of. There are restockings there. I've got to protect so the season's taking on and we're running out of time so i need to crack on and shoot some deer so stay with me folks we'll see how we get on well it's a lovely morning now just in front of that dead bracken patch to the right right just in the, the edge of the trees there's a deer lying down now it's got a pal with it just to the right in the trees that we can't see at the moment. But I can see that deer on the scope. Although it's got a little conifer right in the middle of it. And there's no way I can shoot it until it stands up. So we'll just have to be patient. But fingers crossed it won't take long. The sun will be up in about 10 minutes. Well, there's no hiding from a thermal imager here. Now, I'd seen deer working this part of the valley a few nights before, but there wasn't enough time to go and get them. But when you know deer are working a certain area, you can plan to get out on an evening or a morning and then take a nice relaxed stalk in to go and find them. Now, we're nicely on this deer and it's only about 100 metres, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Well, you can just see the deer in the top right quarter of the, the scope plane there. Just hiding behind that little bit of tree just here. And at the moment, it's been lucky for an hour. Whole hour. Bound to stand up soon though. Hope so. And there it's up. Not looking good. That's got a badly broken and infected leg. So I'm just going to kill it straight. And there is another deer with it. Just wait to see where that one is. See it, I know it's in there. It's a real shame that. A really badly broken back leg. Oh, that one's on its own then. I don't I didn't see that other one run out. I know it was definitely in there. I could see it from up at the the roadside. Well, that was something else. So, uh, you know, it's difficult sometimes. You wait on a deer for quite a long time with a bit of optimism and it stands up and it's got the worst broken back leg I've probably ever seen. Um, really glad to have got it down though. A deer like that, I'm surprised it's made it through the winter, to be honest. I mean, it looked like it's uh, badly broken and infected quite, quite something else. But we'll go and have a look at it. It'll be really interesting to have a look and see how bad it really is up close, but... That's a shame, you know, but these things do happen and sometimes you just got to be prepared for it. And uh, 
a deer like that though if you see it's you know it's clearly in bad form and it's it's suffering it's not doing good even if it's a long long shot just get a shot on it you know do your best by it you can always uh, track it up and finish it off if you have to but you know it's not worth that deer suffering for months until it eventually uh, succumbs so ah well we've got it down anyways let's go have a look well we've got our wee deer and it's certainly uh, in a bit of a sorry state that leg is terribly broken and uh, signs of infection in there it's lost a hell of a lot of weight it's in terrible condition i'm really glad i've got this one down but didn't expect to see that i've not seen one like this uh limping for quite a while and this is about the worst break i've seen on a, a deer's leg it's been alive uh poor wee thing but sometimes it happens but that's been a different one folks so <laughs> fair enough you know sometimes they're good sometimes they're bad but this one's not for eating folks so what can we do Oh, well, I'm climbing up hills at the moment. So I've seen a deer, it's up the edge of a thicket uh, with a big open meadow um, out in front of it. So it's on the edge of the thicket at the moment, but it's working its way out. So I've not got far to go to get on it. Uh, just another sun, sort of 100 meters or so. But I'm just taking a moment. Climbing hills is hard work. So I'm just gonna relax a minute. Oof. Well, they're fair running. Oh, that'd be a tricky one to see in the camera. Camera's a lot lower than I was stood up. And of course, it's a bit deceptive what the camera sees. But we'll try and show you from a different point of view what we're looking at.
well okay we've shot a deer happy days but uh interesting one the three of the deer that were there shot the first one i thought it was probably a yearling or a juvenile wasn't really sure the grass was making it hard to tell but the other two that were there one of them was a, a nice buck really just didn't like the shot and went bombing off but that's all good we've got a deer now interestingly from the camera it might have been really difficult to see that deer um and you might not have seen it at all which would be, which would be a, a bit of a shame but the camera is a lot lower than i am uh, it's only a sort of foot and a half difference but that makes a huge difference when you're looking at the deer um from when you're standing compared to a camera angle and a lot of people think well there might not have been a backstop there but if you look at my height and then if you drop it down the backstop actually shallows out really really quickly as you take even just a few inches to a foot off it but there was plenty of backstop there so don't worry don't panic all is good better go and get this deer and uh, pack it up there's probably half an hour of light left but it's going to take me 45 minutes to get off this hill i am miles up today but it's nice it's a pretty area happy days Oh well, there we go. It is actually a little juvenile. I was hoping it was, uh, or a yearling. So that's not too bad. So got to be happy with that. That's uh, it's a, a long stock up a very big hill in a wonderful area. Uh, you couldn't ask for more. But I'm certainly over a kilometre from the nearest road, which is uh, a wonder. So I didn't want to shoot any more than one, to be fair, because <laughs> I haven't got my row sack. I went up light because when you're going right up in the hill, sometimes it's just better to be light and have the basics. Uh, so you can cover the ground with that, tying yourself out and being all hot and sweaty and uh, destroyed. But we've got a nice little one, it's easy to pick up and uh, I'm going to get it sorted out and get myself down the hill. So fingers crossed we saw it on video, who knows. But thanks a lot for watching folks, I'll see you again soon.